Hey everyone, this is Eric Wu. Today we'll be solving problem 24 on the 2011 AMC 10B. A lattice point in an xy coordinate system is any point x, y where both x and y are integers. The graph of y equals mx plus 2 passes through no lattice point with x greater than 0 and less than or equal to half for all m such that m is greater than half and less than a. What is the maximum possible value of a? For this problem, there are several solutions out there. This is my solution. So the problem gives us the definition for a lattice point. A lattice point is a point x comma y such that x and y are not integers. And we have the line y equals mx plus 2. We're given that for x greater than 0. Oops. x greater than 0 and less than or equal to 100. This line does not pass through lattice points. So this line for values x greater than 0 and less than or equal to 100, this line never passes through any point where both coordinates are integers. And we have that m is within the boundary. Let's write it up here actually since we'll use this work, this space for solving. We have that m is in the boundary of a greater than half and less than a. And we're trying to maximize a. Our answer is the maximum value of a. So we have that. And let's look at this, this condition right here. So what this means is, first what we'll do is we'll find all points that this can't pass through. So what this means is if we it passes through a lattice point, so a lattice point requires x to be an integer, so x could be 1. Let's make this better. 1, 2, 3, all the way up until 100. And if we plugged in these values of x, since this does not pass through any lattice points, that means y is not an integer. So plugging in these values of x, this expression will never be an integer. And we can actually simplify this because looking at these two, if y is an integer, well, if y is not an integer for mx plus 2, then y is not an integer for mx, because subtracting 2 from a non-integer keeps it as a non-integer. So instead, we can say that y is not an integer, and simply look at this expression to get rid of the plus 2, since it's easier. So let's just erase it now. So that means plugging in x, we would have m is not an integer, 2m is not an integer, 3m, so on, all the way until 100m. These are all not integers. And that means that this line does not pass through any lattice points, which in turn means y equals mx plus 2 does not pass through any lattice points. So erasing this, that means if we had m, let's say, well, of course now we know m is a fraction since if m is an integer, and obviously m would be an integer, but we have that it's not an integer. So m, let's say it's a fraction in the form of this. Then we know that d cannot equal to 2, 3, 4, all the way until 100. We don't include 1 because no fraction has denominator 1. But for 2 through 100, the denominator can't equal those values because then one of these expressions would be an integer and our condition would be false. So we have this, d is not equal to 2 through 100. And what this means is that looking in this limit, we have the limit half is less than m, less than a. That means we're trying to maximize a value of a such that no possible value of m with denominators 2 through 100 can fit between half and our max a. So that's the goal of this problem. Now we simplified it down. 
So let's just erase all this. We'll write the important stuff. We have that mx, y equals mx, and so that means m, 2m, 3m, all the way until 100m are not integers. We have the limit m is greater than a half or less than a, and so no value of m with denominator, so let's write it out. If m equals c over d, d is not equal to 2, well, we don't need that bracket, 2, 3, all the way until 100. So we have this. So what this means is that a, okay, so a, we're looking for values of a that have denominators ranging from 2 through 100. And we don't do denominators 101 or greater because then we would have that some value of m could have a denominator of 101 but our only our condition only relates or only considers 2 through 100 so we don't want any values of a with denominator 101 or greater so we only consider denominators 2 through 100 and what we'll do is what happens is a actually has to be a fraction that's greater than a half but closest to a half. So what this means is let's say a has denominator 7. So if a has denominator 7 then a has to equal 4 sevenths and this is because so 4 sevenths is greater than half so for the values lower than this 3 sevenths, 2 sevenths, 1 seventh these are all obviously not greater than a half, so we can't have these. But why we can't have a equals 5 sevenths or 6 sevenths, let's just look at 5 sevenths for now. This is because if we did a equals 5 sevenths, then writing it over here, half less than m less than 5 sevenths, we could simply plug in 4 sevenths. Since 4 sevenths is greater than a half, and the fraction with denominator 7 that's greater than a half but closest to a half. So then we could simply let m equal 4 sevenths. This is obviously true. And we would have that 7m is an integer, but we want them to not be integers. So the only way such that we can't fit a denominator of the same value in here is if we pick an a value such that it's the smallest number, smallest number with that denominator, smallest fraction actually with that denominator but still greater than half. So what this means is that a can equal, so if it had a denom denominator of 2, the, greater, the least number that's greater than half with a denominator of 2 would actually just be 1, so we don't consider denominator 2. What we start considering is starting from 3, we could have 2 thirds, 3 fourths, 3 fifths, 4 fifths, I mean 4 sixths, 4 sevenths, 5 eighths, 5 ninths, and so on. And what ends up happening is these fractions are all in the form of x plus 1 over 2x or x plus 1 over 2x plus 1. So what this means is that a is one of these expressions for some value of x keeping in mind that the denominator is less than or equal to 100 so now we simply need to find the maximum value of x based off of these expressions continuing where we were we were trying to maximize a based off of these expressions so how we'll do that is we'll look at this so let's erase these we don't need this anymore. We have that a is in this form, so let's write it up here. x plus 1 over 2x, or x plus 1 over 2x plus 1. Keeping in mind that the denominator is less than or equal to 100, so we don't need any of this. But we'll need this limit of half is less than m is less than or a. 
So what we'll do is we'll actually try and find the distance of these from half and we'll see why later. So let's say, let's look at this one, x plus 1 over 2x minus half. We know these both are greater than a half because that's how we found the expressions in the first place. This ends up equaling to 1 over 2x and x plus 1 over 2x plus 1 minus half ends up as 1 over 4x plus 2. And why we subtract it from half is if we equate a to one of these expressions, let's say we let a equal x plus 1 over 2x, that means the gap for m has length 1 over 2x. So there is a 1 over 2x gap for values of m. So we're trying to maximize a. So we have this and this. And if we try and maximize a, what we have to do is we have to minimize this gap. Because, for example, let's say we use the value of x equals 3. So this gap would be 1, 6. And this gap would be 1 over 14. So if we use this 1 over 2x, that means this gap is 1, 6. But in turn, that means this if we had used x plus 1 over 2x plus 1, then the gap would have been 1 over 14. So what this means is this gap is shorter than this gap, and we can't have that because that means this can fit into here. So what we want to do is we want to minimize this gap here, and that's the only way we can find the maximum of a. So. Looking at this, we obviously see that 1 over 4x plus 2 will be less than 1 over 2x since the denominator is greater. 1 over 4x plus 2 is less than 1 over 2x. This is true. And now, so we don't, we don't need to consider 1 over 2x anymore since we're trying to minimize this. So keeping in mind that this denominator has to be less than or equal to 100. We see that x, the greatest value of x, can only be 49. So plugging in 49 here, we have 1 over 198. And looking at 1 over 2x, the greatest x we can have is 50. So the minimum of this is x equals 50 which is 1 over 100. Obviously, this is smaller, which means we have x equals 49, and we have the expression x plus 1 over 2x plus 1 as our value for a, so erasing all of this. What this means is to minimize the difference of an, one of these expressions in half, we have to choose this expression and let x equal 49, which means a equals x plus 1 over 2x plus 1. This is the max of a. That's what we're trying to find. For x equals 49. Plugging in, we get max of a equals 50 over 99. And this is answer choice b. This is our solution for problem 24 on the 2011 AMC 10B. I'll see you guys next time.